here's another little demonstration of today's steps to support the pictures in your work pack. I'm going to talk through and model the steps for you now. So step one is to pick a baseline from your two angle arms. So your angle arms are these lines here. I've drawn little hands on them to help me remember. You absolutely do not have to do that. Um, pick one of them to be your baseline. I'm going with this one um, because it's going to be much easier for me to uh, match my protractor up with that baseline there than this one that's at diagonal to me now on the page. So I've chosen my baseline, it's this bottom line here. And now I need to place my protractor baseline on the angles baseline. So the protractor baseline, it's quite hard to see because it's transparent, um, is this one here. Okay. And you're going to place that on your angle baseline. So I'm going to pop that on there like that. Place my protractor baseline on my angle baseline. Okay. And then I need to make sure that the angle points match up. So I need to match up my angle point, which is this one here, with this point here on my protractor. So you can see where these two lines, the line at 90 degrees and your baseline sort of intersect in the middle here. So I'm going to place that again because I actually hadn't lined those up. So my angle point is right in the point there. And I've still got this line matched up along the bottom here. You really, really have to be so accurate when you do this. If you don't have those lined up, you're not going to measure the angle accurately. It's just like when you're learning to use a ruler. If you don't make sure that you start from the zero, then you're not going to measure the right length. Um, once you've done that, you just need to think about your angle opening from 0 to 90. Okay, we're doing acute angles today, so less than 90 degrees. You can see 0 on your protractor here, and 90 is here. So you're imagining your angle opening in this direction. Okay, once you've done that, and you've checked that the arm runs right through the scale, so that's this here, it runs right through the scale. You can see there that it does. You are ready to read the scale and record. Now, you'll notice on your protractor that there's almost two, well, there isn't almost, there is two scales. You've got a zero here and 180 here. Now we are measuring from the zero through to the 90. So we're looking at these numbers here, the ones I'm tapping with my pencil. So it's going 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way up to 90. Okay, we start at 0, so my numbers are increasing. If you're looking at 180 and you're measuring and you get to 150, your numbers are decreasing, you're measuring the wrong way. So we're measuring from 0 all the way up to 90. You will need to, once you've come round on this scale here, look up at this smaller scale up here eventually if your angle arm does not land on one of these multiples of 10. So I'm just going to move my camera a little bit closer in. Measuring on this scale here, 0 through to 90, so you've got 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Now I'm doing everything right but like I said I'm going to need to now move up onto this outer scale here. I'm not looking at the multiples of 10, 140, 130. I'm just looking at these lines in between. And they are going up in ones. So we've got 40 here. Now the 40 matches up with this line here. So I'm going to count from here in ones. And I'm going to say my 10s in front just so I don't forget where I am, what I'm measuring, start counting in 140, 141. So we're at 40, 41, 42, 43. Now I've used a very thick pen to draw my angle. Go for this one here as it's closest to the edge. So 41, 42, 43, 44. So I make that 
44. I'm just going to make a note of that there. So we don't forget. Um, I've said today an accuracy of two degrees. So if you've got quite a thick line here and you're thinking, oh, I'll go with that one and you've measured it slightly bigger than it is, don't worry. You should be going with the one where it first touches that angle arm there. But anything within two degrees today is fine. So and don't forget we're recording our answer in degrees. We've got 44 cats today, we're measuring angles, so it's 44 degrees. Hopefully that helps. Just try your best, take it slow and steady. It's all about getting that protractor lined up perfectly and then just counting really carefully and making sure you start zero to 90 and move out to these ones here if you're in between two multiples of 10 there. Good luck and the answers are at the bottom of the work pack if you want to check your measuring afterwards.